guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tony. So for today, what I'm going to do is I'll be doing my March wrap up. So to tell you the books that I've read last March, my ratings for them, my thoughts and others. So if you want to know the books that I've read last March, let's hop into the video. Now to start off with my first read for March. This is actually uh, the last book or the continuation of the trilogy that I read last February. I mentioned that I read um, Angel Fall trilogy so this is the last book of the series End of Days by Susan E. I rated this 4 out of 5. The ending or the last book of the Angel Fall trilogy is actually a fulfilling and for me it was just, it was a great ending for me but i can't help but think that even though it was a fulfilling ending for me i can't help but think that bitten i can't i can't help but think that i want more of the story so i don't know i can't do anything about the ending because that's how it's written so but yeah that's my thought I, I wanted more and I love all the characters in the Angel Fall trilogy um, Penryn, Raph, Paige, Didum, um, Penryn's mother I forgot the name or was it even mentioned the name anyway and others I loved all the characters here and the story kind of added a backstory of the, one of the enemies here or antagonist I will not mention the name but it's a he um, I love that Susan E included the a the backstory of that certain character because it made me understand him more his actions and everything um, I used to hate that certain character but but when I read this last book it made me feel sorry for him it made me feel pity for him instead of hate i just feel sorry for him and he's not actually that bad if you would just if you read the angel fall trilogy guys it's good and i'll tell you i used to hate that certain character but i actually Kind of love him now because of his backstory i understand him more and i wish that we'd have a prequel with this story i guess i would love that so for the first book that i've read last march this is the end of days by susan e now for the second book that i've read last March is the Winterwood by She Earnshaw. I've read um, Winterwood's uh, what? I've read She Earnshaw's first book, which is The Wicked Deep. It's here, yeah. <laughs> the Wicked Deep, and I definitely love her first book. It was an amazing book. I love the dark, kind of dark story about it, and there were twists here, so I was expecting that. Uh, for this book for Witherwood to have a twist um, I actually at, I think at the At that certain part of there's a scene here oh, What at the certain part of this book there's a scene here where they were in the woods winter woods they were in the woods and at that part i kind of had a hunch about the twist like what if like this or what if like that and it did happen i thought that was the only twist but at the like um, a few pages at the end of the book there was another twist and i didn't expect that and i was happy with the plot twist here there were actually two plot twists here and i think you would enjoy this 
I recommended I recommended this before and I've seen others reading it because I recommended it and she enjoyed it. I forgot who um but stay on. Uh, and I would recommend this to Winterwood She and Shaw. I rated this 4.5 out of 5 because I really did enjoy it and I can't wait for more books of She or Cha. I hope she released more soon. Now for the third book, I can't find my copy. I don't know where I put it. It's here somewhere or at the other. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Found it, found it. This is actually a book that I mentioned uh, from my March book haul. This is the Mobster for Rent by Huntress. This is a story that I read at Asian Fanfics because of my OTV, Dara and G Dragon. But the uh, names here are different. It's Sarah and Geo almost close but um this is a story this is kind of a cliche story but i enjoyed it nonetheless it's actually fun to read and even though it's cliche and yeah it's fun to read it's it made me laugh and giddy so this is a story um i'll just read the synopsis Boyfriend for rent, minimum of one month with free one day trial period. Sarah needs, it made me remin um, I remembered a scene here that made me giddy and made me laugh. So, Sarah needs a boyfriend and she needs to have one pronto. Due to her best friend's blunder, Sarah has to hire a boyfriend that she can introduce to her office mates and to her drinking buddy, longtime crush, Adrian Lee on their company's annual acquaintance party. Unfortunately, the one sent by a rent-up boyfriend, Orad, is a certified jerk. His name is Gio, and he always finds new and improved ways of annoying the crap out of her. And on to Sarah, she will soon have bigger problems than, than Adrian in the annual party because Gio, aka G the Ripper, is a mobster boss and she mistakenly rented him to be her boyfriend. So yeah, that's it. So to make it more clear, Sarah needs to rent a boyfriend pronto. But what she didn't know is um, she mistakenly took that one guy who's wearing the same shirt as the one that she rented. Actually, it's a monster. So it's in divided into three books. So my third read, my fourth read, and my third, fourth, fifth read. So this is available in national bookstores. Yeah, it's actually published. I was surprised that it was published already by, where, where, where is it published again? Bookware something. So my third, fourth, fifth read. And also this, I've ordered this last 2017. This is the sequel to that story, Monster for Rent. And this is actually a self-print, self-published. So this is uh, one story, but it's divided into three books. And then this is also the sequel of that three books. It's divided into two, so it's kind of long too. And it's just a continuation of their life. I will not mention because it's actually full of Yakuza something anime whatever so if you're fond of anime something Mafia Yakuza I think you would enjoy this too but I think um, this is out of print already but I'm hoping that Bookware will also print a book two of this since this is a pre-order for the fans of Huntress. So yeah. Now for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. For my eighth read last month, and this is a discovery of witches by Deborah Harkness. This is actually a recommendation of Atitris. 
what's her account name in bookstagram i think it's tris that bibliophile i will link her or put her username here and link it down below so you can follow her so i am so glad that i bought this i bought this last manila international book fair i was actually looking for something to buy in fully booked and she saw this and she told me that she loved the story and that in one year she reads the trilogy seven times or something so um deborah harkness by discovery witches of witches is i love stories about witches so i was convinced i love stories about supernatural things fantasy i read reviews about a discovery of witches and they said that it's similar to twilight what i can say is it is similar but not do you get that it's similar in some type or it's similar in other ways but not you get me it's just um okay i see while reading it i see some kind of similarity but only a little i guess in twilight i haven't i haven't read twilight i haven't read the book but i have watched the movies twilight is focused on vampires human which is bella well in this case it's a focused on witches and a little bit of vampires so this is a story of dr diana bishop who is a descendant of bridget bishop of salem and bridget bishop is one of the known or known witch being a daughter of one of the greatest witch or known witch is a big deal but because of what happened in the past dr diana bishop wants nothing to do with her birthright once she wants nothing to do with her powers she wants nothing to do with being a witch so um it's her journey from uh, turning her back from her birthright and from facing it she so at one point she was she, she's a doctor of alchemical alchemy and one day she was trying to read summon a book which is the alchemical ashmo 782 and reading that particular book which is ashmo 782 uh something happened which resulted to other creatures demon demons um witches vampires following her they were seeking her because of that specific book Ashmo 782 so it's a journey of her facing her birthright and facing other important things facing something that will change her her life forever so yeah I, I, I hope that was that gave you some kind of information and I'll give you a little bit of infos like for example in Twilight or the Vampire Diaries uh, in there the vampires need a certain the vampires can't walk in the sunlight or they sparkle but here um, it's not true well in this book they can walk in the sunlight they can walk in the sunlight they don't need a daylight ring like in tvd the member diaries or they don't need to hide from sunlight and actually in twilight it says that edward sparkles but in here it's kind of the opposite the witch kind of produces light or if you're oozing with magic it's like you're giving off light if you 
you're the one who, that sparkles, not the vampire. So it's kind of different. Just a little bit of infos uh, for the difference of uh, Twilight or TVD from the characters or creatures here. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed. So of course, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for my eighth read, my ninth read, and my tenth read, of course, um, my tenth read. So um, I would say that I definitely enjoyed this trilogy, the A Discovery of Witches or the All Souls trilogy. Um, it's a lot I tell you and this book is very detailed look at the font of the book it's small and it's thick it's um, 500 plus pages each book so it's long but I don't mind I actually love a long series well, it depends on the story, but uh, yeah, I love it. And there are a lot of characters here, I tell you, but I think there are always new characters for every book. There were new characters in Shadow of Night, there were new characters in The Book of Life, and there are also characters, I loved every character. There are characters here that I hated at first, but then love as the story goes on. The first impression of a discovery of witches is it's more on details. It's very detailed. But my first impression or thought for the few chapters of the book is the story is fast. It's going fast. I don't mind, but that's my thought or my impression. And I actually understand at the middle part or at the end part why it needs to be a little bit of fast because there are a lot of details or a story seems to be added for you to understand the story of Diana Bishop and Matthew Claremont. I forgot to mention. Also, I would like to mention here that the vampires here can control their predator instincts like not like in the vampire diaries or twilight where like if you're my friend or if you're my family if you're human i can definitely control it even if you run i can control it but here Vampires here are definitely super predator instincts like even though we've known each other and You're human If you run my instinct will tell me to run for you and grab you so it's, I tell you it's a difference so if you enjoy or if you like fancy witchy stuff I'll definitely recommend the All Souls trilogy. I'll rate this series 4.7 out of 5. So for the last book that I read last March is a... I have a lot of pre-order of this book and I waited for this for a long time and I really got excited when I found out that Cassandra Clare will release another book and this is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, The Last Hours, book one. I definitely love this book and I cannot, cannot wait for book two. Uh, well, the ending left me hanging and the ending broke me. And this is a story of Cordelia Carstairs' story. Will and Tessa is here. Uh, Will and Tessa's... Um, daughter and son is here so i really waited for this and got excited because i love will and tessa and now this is a story of their um children but this is mainly a story or this is focused on cordelia carstairs 
Um, I definitely enjoyed it. I loved every character. There are four characters here that I hated at first, as usual. But as the story goes by, I learned to understand them, their actions, and everything. So I actually love the character, that certain character, right now. At first, that's only first impression. I hated that certain character or not actually hate is strong word i dislike the that certain character but right now i like love that character and i actually love the every character's story here it made me understand understand them more and as um I will rate this 4.7 out of 5 just because um, some parts were kind of slow but I understand that the story is trying to build up or the story is just starting but actually um, the story starts at 100 in pages more so you'd have to read this thick part first kind of thick part not really one fourth of the book but yeah i i just love this book that's what i'm going to say i love 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 this and i hope you read it soon uh, for the others who want to read this book just make sure that you've read other books by cassandra claire because this is kind of like a continuation so if you don't want to be spoiled well, don't read this first. You have to read the other Shadow Hunters book. So, I'll also say that there was a certain character here that when that certain character was introduced to me or when I read about that certain character, I had a hunch that something was fishy about that certain character and I don't really trust that certain character and I was right about it at the last part of the book because yeah right now in book one I hate that character it's a girl so let me know if you hate her too okay hate is strong word but I still hate her. I love Cordelia and I, lo I love Cordelia and Cordelia need to be protected. But yeah, the, the ending of this book got me frustrated and left me hanging and just I was so frustrated with the ending because of that revelation that I just found out. And it was actually a good ending. Oh, it's a mixed emotions the ending left me hanging the ending frustrated me but it was also a good ending and what actually happened is what i want to happen but not you get me it's a bittersweet ending for me that's why i really need to have the book too and can't Cassandra Clare just release a book two this year too? Doesn't matter if it's November or December, but I don't know. That's a wishful thinking. But yeah, I will recommend this book. I actually want to recommend all of the books that I've read last March. So that's the Angel Fall trilogy, The End of Days, The Winter Wood, The Mobster for Rent, The Mobster for Rent sequel. If, but you don't need to read this if you don't want but yeah a discovery of witches also trilogy and also and for the last book is the chain of gold by cassandra claire i will yeah will definitely recommend these books that i've read and i hope you love them as i love the book and i hope you enjoy these books as I've enjoyed them so yeah um, let me know in the comments down below if you've read these books or if you're planning to read them 
and if you want someone to talk about if you want someone to talk about these books just hit me up in Twitter or in Instagram just message me don't be shy to message me and I'll pass with you I'll chica chica with you with these books and yeah let me know your thoughts um, if you've read these books and you didn't like it that's okay doesn't matter if you don't like it that's you that means the book is not for you that's okay we have different preferences when it comes to books so it doesn't matter just yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that i helped in some ways i hope that um my impressions on this book um convince you to read this books and i also hope that i help you gain some snippets of information about these books that i've read so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below and click the bell button so you'll get notified when I'll upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Thank you for watching me blabber. Thank you for watching me talk about the books that I've read. So thank you guys for watching. Um, see you on my next video. Um, keep safe guys, everyone. Um, Take care, God bless, and let's keep on praying for our world, our country, and everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Send my keep smiling, stay positive. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you on my next video. God bless.